Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The makers of Bishop Rosier present This Was Your Life, and here he is, your master of ceremonies, Edward Ralph. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, tonight, we look into the life of the biggest performer in the country. Yes, you're right. None other than the fabulous, tremendous, sensational Elvis Presley. <laughs> Right up here on our stage, Elvis. My, but you look shocked. We fooled you, didn't we? Blah, 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 blah. Don't get nervous, Elvis. You just sit down here in our seat of honor while we, we go back through the years. This was your life. Elvis Presley. Yes, Elvis. Together now, together, we shall look at the highlights of your life. Do you feel better now, Elvis? Hold my hands down beside me I'm coming for you As we open the book, we open the book, we turn to the first page. I see you were born. Oh, yeah. Yes, Elvis, you were born with a full set of sideburns and at the tender age of six months, you, you, Elvis Presley, start your career in the bathinette. Do you remember how, Elvis? Well, the stream down the hall Now, now we see tragedy. Yes, you are nine years old. Then, then it happens. What, what did your best friend do, Elvis? Step on my blue suede shoes. Yes, and what, what did you do, Elvis? Tell my mom up, tell my papa too. We interrupt with a sponsor for our message. <laughs> <laughs> The next voice you are about to hear is someone very dear out of your past. Listen, Elvis, listen. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Yes, your old hound dog. And now, now, someone else out of your past. Hello, Elvis. Elvis Presley, whose voice is that? Well, I'm Sue, but you know just what to do. And you remember her. After all these years, isn't that wonderful? I forgot to remember to forget her. And now we pause for station identification. Shall we go on now, Elvis? Let's go, Jack. Now, now we find you with another girl. Shall I tell them her name? We'll do anything that you want to do. No, Elvis, you tell them. Girl, name is Daisy. She almost drives me crazy. Yes. And then what did you do, Elvis? Well, I found a new place to dwell. That's right, Elvis. And now, now, do you find any time for women? Well, I've learned the lesson and now I know. The sun may shine and the winds may blow. The women may come and the women may go. Elvis, who, who gave you all that good, that wonderful advice that inspired you to a successful career? Tell us, will you? Well, Mama, she done told me, Papa done told me to. Wonderful. Oh, oh, I just think that's wonderful. Just sit down, control yourself, Elvis. Here's a hanky. Now, what really tempted you to start on your great career? <laughs> oh, yes, and you certainly have made it. From strumming on a broomstick to making movies, you certainly made a clean sweep, Elvis. How, how does the future look to you? The future looks bright. Oh, hey. oh. Elvis, would you like to say a word to your millions of fans? Oh, I'm sure they're just waiting to hear from you. Mm, don't stop the hanging up. I'm sure they won't, Elvis. Everyone you know that gains such fame as you always acquires nicknames. Now, Elvis, Elvis Presley, what do you think of all these people calling you... Elvis the Pelvis. Well, that's all right. You know, Elvis, you're such a good sport. We have a gift for you. Yes, here is a gold, a solid gold pogo stick to help you move around the stage. Isn't that wonderful? And now, now, what are you going to do with it, Elvis? <laughs> last, last but not least, here is something to show even our great government, yes, our government, hasn't forgotten you, Elvis Presley. Look, just look at it. Here are your induction papers for the United States Army. Isn't that wonderful? What you want with me? We need you! Don't be cruel. Don't be cruel. This was your life. Be cruel. Elvis Presley.